Good morning, welcome to another I Wanna Travel To.com video. Today's video is from Daytona Beach Pier, where Joe's Crab Shack is. And so it is March, like, uh, I don't know, 22nd or so, 2021. It's beautiful out. It's already like 78 degrees, 10 mile an hour breeze. And it's just, the world's just waking up. Pretty empty still. Maybe there's two dozen people within a half a mile. So come on down, plenty of room. So this pier, the Daytona Beach Pier, is open like 7 a.m. in the morning. So there are giant gates right there, right? That were closed when I walked up here. And so I just walked up that way a little ways and I noticed said pier was open. And so yeah, let's walk it. I only saw like four people out here on this thing. And so every day, this thing is very popular for fishers, people fishing. And well, I actually got people in the water here. And so you're not really supposed to be that close. There's a pole out here. Yeah, and so you gotta be careful you don't get washed up against the pier. So I guess some people are out there surfing or getting ready to surf. And so yeah, Daytona Beach surfers right there. But most surfing is done down in Ponce Inlet, which is way down there. Something like, I would say, let's see, 10 or 11, 12 miles down the coast. And so really, you should be able to hop on this beach and drive. And I think it's like 10 bucks for visitors. But just up here is the entrance international, uh, you know, ISP ramp is right up here on the other side of those sticks that you see. Right, and so you can pretty much go south quite a ways. And so let's have a look here, Joe's Crab Shack. They've also got a rooftop bar or a rooftop deck thing going on. Uh, I'll try to get some information on that. Pizza by the slice. Quick plate, chicken tenders, french fries, hot dogs, some, uh, you know, water rice. Nice, I didn't even know that stuff was here. Oh God, and you see there's already a couple people fishing. You know, tables here and tables on top. Those are surfers, yeah. Cool. So you can come out here and fish the pier. You're allowed two fishing poles per person. I already see this one person. Looks like he's got three. Of different types of wildlife here in uh, Daytona Beach. There was one of those cool birds that they swim. There it is. It swims and then it dives under the water and it swims under the water and catches fish. And then you'll see them sitting on rocks and ledges and stuff, drying themselves off. I got a cool video over Reed Canal Park of one of those guys. There it goes. It just dove down and it'll go catch a couple of fish or a fish. And we back up, and I've seen them go like 30 or 40 feet underwater. Maybe not that far. Yeah, maybe 25 or 30 feet. That time he just didn't go too far, but yeah, cool. Let's have a look at the end of this. Nice wave.
And so I heard somebody was magnet fishing off of this thing and found like uh, some steel buffalo nickel or something that was uh, worth some money. And I do have a magnet, but I've never caught anything with it. Not even rust or nails or anything. But I have been pitching it off at different places, different bridges. Maybe I'll try it out here one day. Probably just get a bunch of hooks and stuff. But yeah. Daytona Beach, March 2021. Approaching 80 degrees. Come check out all the fun things to do in Daytona Beach, Florida. The Daytona Beach Pier, Joe's Crab Shack. Come have dinner. Come eat at Joe's. Alright, check out all the fun things in Daytona Beach. I want to travel to.com.